Hello and welcome to this course on FabFilter's Twin2 software synthesizer. FabFilter makes some really excellent audio plugins, but it also makes some synths, and Twin2 is one of its best. As you can see, it's not really modelled on any kind of existing synthesizer, it has a completely unique take on synthesis and it's capable of making some really cool sounds. In fact, it's one of the most flexible and best sounding synths I've ever used. Although the interface here might initially look a little bit daunting, what you will find is that it's actually not nearly as complicated as it looks. It has a very clever workflow which shows you the signal flow from left to right. It has various different sections which pop out and appear as you want them. And everything's contained within this single window. We'll talk a little bit more in a while about the way the windowing system works, but it's actually very clever. It's one of the nicest ways of interacting with a synth that I've seen. To give you a very quick tour, on the left hand side here we have the oscillator section. This is where the sound is generated. There are three oscillators, each with various settings like waveform selection, scale, detuning, and you can also switch each one of them on or off. The signal then passes to a filter section here. And again, these have a separate pop-out section where you can tweak them individually. Signal then passes to the main envelope generator. And on to two delay effects, and again, these are configurable. On the right hand side here are effect dry-wet controls. Along the bottom we currently have a virtual keyboard, but if you tap on this modulation button here, you'll see that there are all sorts of modulation sources available to work with inside the synth. We'll get to those a little bit later. Down at the bottom here are a range of other controls governing the way the synth behaves. It's polyphony, number of voices and unison, and of course, a master output control. Along the top here are the presets, and there are useful features like A being sounds and copying sounds and undo. If I just quickly play you a couple of the presets, you'll hear that it's a really rich and warm sounding synth. Obviously I'm playing that from a MIDI keyboard, but you can also use the virtual keyboard here. You can hear that that's quite a complicated sound, there are lots of things going on. And in this course we will look at how those different sounds are generated, how you can put together all those different types of rhythmic and moving sounds and tweak them and create your own. So let's go ahead and begin with a look at the interface. 